to use the key, you got to be familiar with anatomy of insects. This guy's a common stonefly. In real life, he's maybe about an inch and a half long. Uh, his tolerance is a one. So what does that tell us about the water color if you find this guy? What's that? Yeah, it's clean. Is that what you said? Oh. Yeah, so it has to be clean to have this guy. Does anybody know the three major parts of every insect? Head? Different word. Abdomen, what's the middle part? Starts with a T. Torso. Not torso. Thorax. 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 Okay. Head, thorax, abdomen. Every insect has them. To find the head, pretty obvious one. Look for the mouth, look for eyes, look for the antenna. Thorax is always going to be the second part of the body following the head. If they have legs like this guy has, the legs are going to be attached to the thorax. And then the third part will be the abdomen. Uh, this is the larval form, so they don't fly. This lives in the water. But I've also highlighted wing pads on here. The wing pad structures are on the thorax, so they're going to be above the legs. It's this structure here. So what happens is these guys are in their larval form, and when they want to leave the stream to become an adult, they're going to split their exoskeleton pretty much right here on the middle of their back, crawl out of that exoskeleton, leave that exoskeleton on the side of a stick, and then once their, wing, their wings will unfurl out of where the wing pads were, once the wings are dry, it's going to fly away and leave that skeleton there. So you want to kind of look right above the feet to find the wing pads if they're present. Some other structures you need to know. Antenna, always going to be on the head. This guy has long thread-like antenna. Sometimes they're going to be little clubs on the end. Sometimes there'll be lots of little balls. Um, segmented legs basically means it's jointed. So they can bend there just like we can bend our knee or an elbow. And then the stoneflies will always have two tails, like this guy has two long, thin tails. Some bugs will have one tail, some critters will have three tails, some will just have two hooks. So that's another structure you want to be looking at. Do you guys have any questions about that anatomy? Cersei? Using the key, the key has two questions, which, mean, which is why it's dichotomous. So it's going to ask you a question. And you're going to have two choices for answers. So you're not just going to go 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. You're going to kind of bounce around depending what answer you pick for your questions. Um, there's pictures in the key that are there to guide you through. So if your bug looked exactly like a picture, you know you can use that picture to kind of follow the picture through the questions. Uh, make sure you read it carefully. It says both or more than. Uh, make sure you follow those criteria for the questions. So what I want to do is, we're going to walk through the identification of this guy. You guys are going to use the keys in front of you, and we're going to try to figure out what this bug is. So if you flip to question one, it asks you, do you think it has a head and segmented legs? What do you guys think? Yes. How many people say it has a head? You guys, some people don't think it has a head? No head? No head? You do? Yes? You see it? Look for a mouth. Yeah. Big mouth on this guy. Segmented legs. What do you guys think? Does he have segmented legs? Yeah. Yeah? He does have segmented legs. Coming out underneath the body here. You can see they're kind of bendy and jointed here. These are not legs. These actually are on the side of the body. The legs come out from underneath the body. Again, they're on the thorax of this individual. So we're going to say yes. What question do we go to? 14, you flip the 14 in your key. Does it look like a mini lobster? No, it doesn't look like any lobster I ever ate. So we go to 15. Does it have both of the following characteristics? And I've underlined both. Two pairs of antenna and more than six legs. How many legs does this guy have? Six legs, so it doesn't have more than six. Do we care about the antenna anymore? Nope, because it already doesn't have more than six legs. So we're going to say no and go to 18. 18 is the easiest question in the key. Is this a spider? No. Definitely not a spider. Followed by 19, which is the hardest question in the key. Does it have very large eyes and a triangular lower lip? Only the dragonflies and damselflies will have a triangular lower lip. It's going to be 
a mask that will be underneath their chin and kind of cover up their head. You flip them onto their back. This is the picture you want to look at. There's a structure kind of extending off of what would be the chin on this insect. So if you think that this guy has that structure, you'd say yes. If you think it doesn't, you'd say no. What do you guys think? Nope. Nope. I'd agree. No large structure. So we're going to 25. Are there two long spine-like structures on each section of the body on the abdomen? Yeah. Yes. Yep. Does everybody see the spines? It's got a whole bunch of them. So we go to 26. Does this organism have a long, thin tail? No. no. Nope. Doesn't look like it. He's got two hooks on the end of his abdomen. So we go to 79. If you flip the 79 in your key, it's going to give you some text. This is going to tell us what we've identified. We have a Dobson fly. The family name or scientific name is Corydalidae. Uh, when we do clear in the summer, we will be using the family names of the Latin, so you will need to know Corydalidae. And as we go through the other ones, I'll try to get you guys to pronounce the Latin. Uh, it's a predator. It eats other bugs. Its tolerance value is 5. What does that tell us about a stream if we collect it? Yeah, it's moderate. It's average. Uh, can't be really, really dirty, but it also could be really, really clean. We don't know from this guy. It's just at least middle range of tolerances. Um, and then there's some other trivia about this guy. You could read about him. So what you guys are going to do now, up in the front of the classroom, there's a whole bunch of little jars. Oh, you guys will figure it out. You're going to get a chance to identify all these different things. So all these different jars have a letter or a number on them. It's A through F and 2 through 6. You've got these, I'm going to, you guys can grab these tracer sheets. What this will do is give you a chance to keep track of your decisions. So in the first box, you run to write down 1. If you say yes, put a Y. If you say no, put an N. And then keep track of your decisions in each question as you go across. Also write down the number or letter that you take your organism from so that you put it back in the correct jar. What you do is you come up, grab a set of forceps, grab a petri dish, pick a bug from any jar that you want, put it in the dish. There's some pipettes with some alcohol. Put some alcohol on your dish so the bug doesn't dry out. And then try to identify using the keys. Do you guys have any questions? All right, you can start. <laughs> 